What is up guys, the Mad Mobile back once again. It's another Madden Mobile Monday week 23 now. Um, I know we've missed a couple in a row, so sorry for the wait, but we've got a pretty hype video today. We have got some of these Combine Warriors as well as some of the Combine uh, player packs. we got 10 of those, 4 or 5 Ultimate Legend packs, and uh, 2 defensive game plans. So Saturday was single stamina Saturday. This pack opening is actually being done at Saturday around midnight. For some reason, my uh, volume did not uh, come through, so I'm just going to uh, re-commentate uh, over it. Um, but yeah, guys, yeah, sorry about, uh, I was on spring break this past weekend, and uh, and then the reason I didn't post videos was because I had a bunch of midterms and stuff. So sorry, it's been a while, um, but I promise to post more frequently. I'm hoping to do a uh, NBA Live mobile video this week. Um, hopefully I can get that done. So uh, look, I'm looking forward to doing that, looking forward to getting back into the swing of things. And um, these packs aren't looking too good right now. I opened some off camera, and I actually pulled one of the Elite Invitations, so I was pretty hyped about that. Um, Ultimate Legend packs have not been good to me um, so far this season. Hopefully we can turn things around here. Um, but we'll open up two of the Combine packs for every one. And the reason I wanted to open these on Saturday as opposed to today, Monday, um, is due to the fact that CJ2K was in the game. Oh, um, that was the main reason for this, main uh, motivation. So we get an Elite there in Todd Gurley. That's actually a decent Elite poll compared to some of the other base ones that are worth like 10 k um, I went ahead and I'll do a, um, a uh, lineup um, update next week probably. But I went ahead and picked up Xavier Rhodes, um, got a couple other key players, so um, I was pretty hyped about that. So let's see. Nope, nothing good there. Uh, this is actually going to be my first elite game plan when I get to those. My game plan is all golds and silver, so this will be the first time I've been able to complete that. That stamina day was pretty lit with um, the fact that they had defensive game plans. So that was like pretty much 10 10k every five times you did that you could do that um say you have 35 stamina or something you do that seven times um so that's 10k and then every time you refill we get another elite there but still have yet to get an elite ultimate legend not even like an 86 or whatever but or an 89 um but we're getting invitations we haven't gotten even an elite um combine player out of this so hopefully um this is made up for in the elite game plans as well as the combine warriors because this is not looking too hot i was at like three million coins uh before today i wasted a couple trying to snipe all pro players and sell them back and then they ended up just going down in price um so that was a mistake of mine but hopefully we uh are able to complete the combine warrior um like get a good combine warrior out of it sorry my uh my uh mind is not with it but let's see here. Ooh, we get an Ultimate Legend badge out of a Combine pack. So um, that was about it for those packs. Um, let's go over and see um, if we can get anything good out of these uh, Gold Combine players just to make the video a little longer for you guys since it's been a while. Uh, I think that you can only pull Golds out of these. I've yet to pull an Elite. Um, I don't generally pull Elites out of them anyway, but it does say Gold Combine player. So that's what makes me think that. Um, so we'll complete some of these elite um packs and see if we're able to complete another combine warrior i don't think we'll be able to or even close really yeah no <laughs> uh but we can see if we get any of the 95s or 94s and stuff like that um and the 92 so we'll see if those yeah needed both those are different so that's good but um uh yeah so maybe i'll be able to do a combine warrior player another one before the um, event ends um and get that to you guys but this is the moment you guys have been waiting for. We got the three Elite Game Plan Packs as well as the Combine Warrior Pack. Let's see what we get in number one. Ooh, I don't like those shields. Whenever you see those shields, you know it's, it's bad. Um, but uh, on to the next uh, Elite Game Plan. And ooh, Triple Post and PA Stutter Post. I don't think that that's a particularly good one, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if that was actually a good poll. I don't really know the, uh, these game plans, but I figure it's... Ooh, Smash Trips. I think that's an all right one. I think people do do that play. Uh, do do. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, on to the moment that we've all been waiting for, the Combine Warrior Player Pack. I already know what's going on. I think I did a, like a no-look thing while I was doing this, but I already know what's going to come up, and it is Jamie Collins Sr. 
Uh, Browns, 98 overall linebacker. Um, fairly good pull, better, the better the two linebackers. Uh, so probably like the third lowest overall uh, on the market. But here's our last one. Who, who do we get? We get Nate Solder. I was so hyped when I pulled this. I almost woke up my family. Uh, I was so hyped. Uh, I thought originally that Dontre Poe would be more pricey than Sol uh, Solder, but it turns out that Solder is the most pricey one out of them all. So I was so hyped when that happened. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments what you think, what I should do in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Stay tuned for that NBA Live mobile video. It's coming, I promise. Catch you guys on the next video. See ya.